Welcome. You guys ready to answer some questions? Yes. Okay. So Laura, I'm going to start with you. Um, one of our questions um, was, what path did you take to get into this field? Sure. Well, as an undergrad, I was a history major and um, I had a work study scholarship and they put me in the special collections and archives uh, at my undergrad institution. Um, and so that was sort of how I learned that it was even a field, that it was something to do. Um, and I just realized that I really loved working more hands-on with history. Um, and so I learned a lot while I was in that position. I worked on a lot of interesting collections um, and then worked closely with the archivist there who um, sort of just told me about, you know, going to get your master's, that you could get it in library and information science. You could focus on archives um, and special collections. So I did that. That's how I ended up at the University of South Carolina. And while I was at USC, I just tried to do um, as many different types of internships and jobs and volunteer work as I could um, in different settings and um, just sort of kept really enjoying working in archives and special collections at an academic institution. Um, so that's kind of how I ended up here. That's great. Thank you. Um, Alicia, what about you? What path did you take to get into this field? Well, I really had a similar path as Laura did. I started as a history major in my undergraduate, and I started with writing a research paper that I use our local uh, university archives for, and then I figured out that that could be my main job that I was doing. So I applied for a job um, as a student worker and started working there as a freshman and then continued on through grad school, went on to the University of Pittsburgh and got another assistantship there where I worked in the archives. And I was to Chris's uh, tractors, I had coal culture and how you mine coal. So that's a pretty big industry in Pittsburgh, especially. So I knew a lot about how you manufacture coal, <laughs> but um, it was always fun trying to learn new things about the collections that you're working on. But yeah, I started as a history major and then fell in love with it. Great, yeah. Um, similar stories we hear a lot. So Chris, what about you? Yeah, my story is, is quite similar, um, but it was, uh, before I had declared a major, my brother and my sister had also worked at the LBJ Presidential Library in Austin. And I was the last of us to to start working there. Um, and somehow it, it clicked with, with me. They went on to do other non-archival things, but I stayed in the, working in the archives um, for um, many years. Um, uh, and then decided to um, go to, to, to school for it. Um, so yeah, 